Whiskey, Bravo 6, Quebec, Echo X-Ray, or Queen Elizabeth X-Rays, if you like it. Roger, what's the name there, sir? Name is Peter, Papa, Echo Terre, Echo Romeo. Roger, Peter, now I'm starting to write Chinese. <laughs> the, the latter moments of this show get very strange. What, uh, what, where are you located, sir? Well, we're running an ICOM 746 Pro and a Shure 444 mic and a dipole antenna for 40 meters. Roger, but where are you located, sir? about 10 miles north of Washington, D.C. in Silver Spring, Maryland. Uh, Roger, and uh, let's see, that's 746, you're running 100 watts, Roger? Uh, no, right now we're running about, uh, oh, 400. Ah, the, very nice. You know, I heard um, last uh, Friday a gentleman had a box that he was doing um, 200 watts, uh, and he had his radio driving at 26 watts and uh, we did an AB comparison uh, from uh, uh, 100 watts on his radio to 200 watts with the box and uh, there was no difference uh, you know so you really have to do um, a, a quantitative uh, increase in power to be uh, uh, noticed and uh, you know uh, 1 to 5 is, is a nice increase 1 to 10 is even better Roger So, uh, let's see, tell me about your antenna system. A uh, simple 40-meter uh, dipole. Unfortunately, it's lower than it should be. It's about 30 feet. And uh, it's oriented pretty much north and south, although at its height, that doesn't have too much to do with the load. Okay, Peter, uh, we can do a little fattening on your radio if you would like. Uh, it starts with uh, you uh, engaging your compressor at a 3. We have a very generic uh, setup, but at the end of it, you will have a 3 dB dynamic range with an average uh, percent of peak modulation between 80 and 85%. And it starts with your compressor engaged at a 3. Okay, I'll have to uh, set up for that. Why don't you grab somebody else? Let me pull down the manual. And uh, I'll join in after you help the next ham. I say what, Peter, why don't I give you notes and you can do it at your leisure. Uh, the generic tune-up uh, starts with the compressor engaged at a 3. You know, a very token amount, but it does exactly what it needs to do to precondition the audio uh, for our 3 dB dynamic range. And, the, you know, what I'm saying is that a normal uh, transmitter is a 10 dB dynamic range average uh, peak modulation uh, 30%. So what we're going to do is uh, bring you up to a 3 dB dynamic range with an average of 80 to 85% of peak modulation. So it starts with your compressor engaged at a 3. Then move to your ALC with mic gain in hand and adjust your ALC to where it reads mid-scale to two-thirds. Mid-scale to two-thirds on the ALC meter by way of adjusting your mic gain control. Roger. Roger that. Stand by one. Uh, let's go back a little bit here. Right. Uh, no, a little bit. Oh, let's do that. And my game has to bring back a little bit. There we go. It's kind of faded out right there at the end, but, uh, you know, the way that you set your mic gain control for the ALC meter, you want uh, to establish a good modulation profile so you can see exactly where your ALC meter is and you are reading, and you can't do that like that. The, the best way I have found is to do a number count 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 500, you know, like that. So you have a con consistent rate of speech to keep your meter up so you can read exactly where it's going as you adjust your mic level control for mid scale to two thirds reading. Roger? Roger that, Jim. Let me uh, pull out the manual, see how to best get into the ALC. And uh, I will stand by while you handle another ham, and then I'll be all set to do it immediately. Roger. Well, you've got it. You've got it. Uh, no need for me. Uh, your EQ sounds good, so, uh, you know, just uh, crank in that stuff as, you've, as it becomes available uh, when you read your owner's manual. Roger. 
Roger that. So I'll say threes to you uh, now, Peter, and uh, uh, gosh, uh, crank in that stuff as you find it, and uh, uh, next Friday, uh, give me a shout, and we'll uh, compare notes and uh, see uh, how it sounds, Roger. The point is that your AOC is your Bible. It will tell you exactly what your radio is doing better than your buddy down the street. So, uh, you know, the magic uh, reading on that AOC meter is mid-scale to two-thirds by way of adjusting your mic gain control as you speak naturally, normally, into your microphone at a, you know, maybe just a little ex, uh, excess uh, rate uh, there to keep that meter up as you do that. Roger? Uh, Roger that, Jim. One quick question for you, uh, aside from what we're doing. Do you have any familiarity with butternut vertical? No, I have, I have nothing, no knowledge about verticals at all. I uh, have done uh, quite a bit of testing on antennas from, uh, we're, we're running a two- uh, uh, large uh, 10 foot diameter uh, vertical magnetic loops uh, plus my uh, uh, dipole and uh, I've uh, conducted uh, multiple tests uh, over many nights uh, at SDR 600 miles away and invariably I have been hotter on my uh, transmitting on my um, dipole than on the um, you know the uh, vertical mag loops uh, so uh, you know i'm going for uh, max uh, as far as uh, trying to radiate uh, i have them uh, my uh, dipole uh, strung out uh, where it uh, is uh, primarily um, we're working the uh, east coast from montreal to miami with a hot spot through the carolinas and uh, so this you know we're set up that way on our dipole and uh, so it's hard for my uh, mag loops in receive even to uh, outdo my uh, dipole antenna because it's uh, so sp specially oriented, Roger. It's just right on the hot spot. Understood, QFL. At any rate, thank you very much. We'll uh, get set up for the next time we join you on a Friday. Have a very nice weekend. And 7-3 all, WB6, QEF. Roger, Roger, Peter, Three Set Racer. Thanks for dropping by. And again, if you want to hear your audio, if you go to YouTube and do a call letter search for KC9VKV, followed by today's date, 10 to 20, that will bring up this recording. Uh, we have uh, now about 1,300 uh, uh, QSOV log recordings. Uh, so uh, this way, uh, you should be able to get right to this recording as opposed to having to uh, look for it. It's uh, KC9VKV, followed by today's date, 10 to 20 on a YouTube search. This is KC9VKV listening. <laughs>